everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm very glad to have you guys back for another episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Of course, if you want to go and check that out, if you missed out on the map downloads, go ahead and look on screen. There will be a link for you guys to check out the world tour. But today, my friends, today we are starting a brand new project. That is why, my friends, it is about that time. We have pretty much finished Floor Valley for now, and I think it'd be a nice idea to move on to another settlement. Uh, this settlement is going to be more of a settlement that's going to be done over a very, very long time. Like, uh, like this is going to be in addition to other settlements, and this is going to be like an industrial settlement. A settlement which is going to specialize in having a ton of different Minecraft farms. Farms. Automatic farms, regular farms, all sorts of farms, nether warp farms, freaking wheat farms, cow farms. This guy here is going to be farmed. <laughs> It's going to be a good time, my friends. Yeah, this is going to be like the central location of where we get a lot of our resources, okay? And this plains biome here is going to be the location in which we do this thing. Now, in terms of this location in relation to Flora Valley, I'm going to put up an infographic on screen for you guys. And uh, you'll be able to see from there where exactly it is I am. But for those of you guys who, uh, who can't really tell where it is, if we just uh, sort of had a little bit of a roam over this way and sort of followed this river along what you guys are going to notice coming into view very very shortly is there it is you can see the tower right you can see the tower the the grand entrance into flora valley uh but yeah this plains biome is going to be the site of which we begin our industrial settlement are you excited mr spider i do hope you are because i really really am it's about time we've got some cool farms going now in terms of a uh, of a theme for this now of course because this is industrial I don't think it would make sense to go with the same sort of block palette as we've got for Flora Valley. I think, therefore, it would be a nice idea if we went ahead and used stone for the most part. Whether that be cobblestone, stone bricks, stone blocks cracked stone bricks, uh, stone slabs, all that kind of stuff. Those are going to be the kind of things we're using. So we're kind of going from the wood age, the nature age, into the stone age. We have silk touch. We've got a bunch of other awesome tools at our disposal. And yeah, things are looking good. I've already set my spawn point here. But uh, I think what might be a nice idea is if we first of all did a bit of terraforming Although I don't know, do I want to terraform this? Do I want to patch this up? Or do I want to make it into a bit of a feature for this town? You know what? Ordinarily, I would patch this up, but, uh, you know, we've we've done some dressing up of some of the natural terrain generation inside of uh, Flora Valley, and we made it look good, so I'm thinking maybe we can make this thing look good as well. We, we can make it into a bit of a feature for this place. Well, hello there, little sir. It looks like we've got ourselves a bit of a buddy around here. <laughs> we got ourselves a little turtle friend. Awesome. Hey man, that's cool. So, I've just been back to Flora Valley to get myself some uh, shulker boxes full of some resources. As you can see, got some various bits and bobs going. Oh man, the is that music? Is the music a little bit loud? Let's turn that down just a wee bit. There we go. I love your Minecraft music, but not to the point where I can't hear myself think. So anyways, let's get ourselves some things going. What I'd really like to begin with is some stone bricks and maybe some chiseled stone. Because these are going to be the pillars, okay? So that is the idea. We're going to have some pillars going on here. Maybe we have ourselves like a chiseled stone brick there. In fact, no, do you know what? Let's have that like that. And then we put chiseled on top like that. I think that's a cool idea. Yeah, okay, okay, I can work with that. And then maybe in between, to give it a little bit of texture variation, what we could perhaps do is grab up some cobblestone stairs, okay, and then maybe do a little thing like that. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. And then maybe we can have like a piece of glowstone or some some other light source here. Oh, do you know what? No, we should put redstone lamps. Redstone lamps would definitely work in an industrial style, uh, cobblestone related style type thing, right? I think that worked quite well, actually. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. So I'm thinking maybe we do uh, five blocks of space in between each of these pillars, okay? So uh, if we just head back up here and then we do the same over here. So a little bit of that. Um, oh. No, hang on a minute. A little bit of that. And then the chisel. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And then we've got to bring it around town. So here we go. A little bit of that. And then the redstone lamp is on top of that one. And then we do that. 
and then we do that, and then of course we bring in another pillar because that is how the design's gonna go around here, okay? So there we go, that's looking pretty decent. I think what would be a nice idea, I mean, yeah, we could put cobblestone fences on top of here, but I think what would really work best around here would probably be iron bars. Right, let's go to the mine, I'm looking for iron. Wow, I've got one. Oh my word, I've got one iron ingot. I'm so rich. I'm so unbelievably rich. I feel like I should have some more somewhere. Huh. Oh, do you know what? I think I know where they are. I think, if I remember correctly, they are over in the, the little villager area. So if we uh, head upstairs here, I'm pretty sure we'll find all of the stuff here. Or not. I think we sold them all. Oh, Python, you're such a noob. I have no iron left. Darn it, man! Well, guys, I guess we're going ahead and mining up some iron, huh? Apparently, I don't have any supplies at all, and I didn't even realize it, so, um, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> all right, guys, so check out this feature I've just discovered in uh, 18W15A, the 1.13 snapshot. Now, previously, you would just swim in water to the point where the swimming animation would uh, start, or you would just bob up and down in this water. But check this out, guys. Look. Look, I could just run around in it. This is awesome. This is actually awesome. It's really, really cool that they finally addressed something like this. I mean, look at how easy it is now to get up freaking water streams that are pushing against you now. That is really, really cool. <laughs> the simple quality of life things, my friends, that is that is what makes me happy. Very, very good. Good job, Marianne. Good job. But uh, yeah, guys, in the meantime, check this out. There's an abandoned mine shaft down there, so we actually have something to explore with you guys, which is uh, pretty interesting. I got myself 38 bits of iron all so far, so uh, I tell you what, why don't we go and make ourselves some uh, some torches? And uh, I mean, why don't we go and explore the abandoned mine shaft? I felt like it's been a while since we've done that. Uh, maybe a little bit of coal as well. Why not? Chuck that down there. And the good thing is, because I purposely left this uh, water stream going, I could just use it to get back up. Which is awesome. So there we go, my friends. There's the mine shaft. Uh, and there's some iron right there. The more we get, the better. Uh-oh. All right. Well, it looks like we've come across a spider dungeon. Hey, man. This is within... Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, God. No, I've been poisoned. Oh, dang it. Oh, darn it, man. All right. Well, how long is that going to last for? Oh, 10 seconds. Good Lord. Okay, right. We need to be fairly quick about this because we really don't want to die to poison. But uh, one thing I will say is, uh, you know, this is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, look, Plains Biome. This is within the vicinity of the industrial area, right? So we could eventually make this into a cave spider farm. Uh, actually, talking of which, maybe we should take a screeny. So 40 and then negative 160. Aha! You see, taking screenies is very, very useful sometimes. Hello! Lots more iron, though. Don't mind if I do. Uh, in the meantime, I haven't managed to find any minecart chests yet, which is pretty surprising. But, uh, you know, that's not to say we won't find any. It's just a case of, you know, just keeping on going. Oh, what the heck? Hey, check this out. Well, this is another snapshot bug, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. So when you go ahead and then update the block, it'll update to be as it should be. Anyway, so let's see what we got. Riptide 1. Very interesting. Didn't even realize you could get them as, uh, as you know, reward stuffs. Very, very cool. Hey, don't mind if I do. Got ourselves some redstone and got ourselves another minecart chest. Come on, man. We're looking for big money here. Big money. Big money. Diamonds. Boom. Hey, we got a name tag. Our first name tag of the series. Brilliant. Dude, that's actually sick. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Oh, right, man, I'm actually super happy about that because we can finally go ahead and start naming some of our various mobs around the world. Awesome stuff. Right, let's go ahead and uh, pick that up. Uh, yeah, we're looking good, guys. We've got some melon seeds out of that as well, so we can finally grow some melons. Very, very cool. Hey, that guy had... Hey, he's got an enchanted shovel. I wonder what I've got on it. Uh, efficiency 2 I'm breaking to. <laughs> hey, man, I'm kind of tempted to pick it up, but, uh, well, oh, what? Python, you forgot to bring your ender chest with these numb nuts. Oh, dear. Is there, like, another one around here? Oh, I'm really, really nervous. Well, there's the spawner. Uh, we should probably go and eat up. <laughs> if I die with all this stuff on me, I'm going to be a little bit heartbroken. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Is he on the roof? No, he's not. Okay. We're okay. Just about. Right, it'll be very interesting to know if this spawner is close enough to the other one to the point where we could potentially activate them both at the same time and therefore maybe have a double spawner. 
Wouldn't that be awesome? Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Well, yep, yeah, uh, we're just being poisoned again. It's Poison City up in this business, man. Oh, good lord. Um, ah. Uh. Really? So, uh, I, there was a creeper there. I very stupidly got rid of all of the cobweb. Well, yeah, I got rid of the cobweb. He came towards me. I hit him. I fell back into some cobweb and then he blew up the spawner. Uh. Alrighty, guys. Another minecart chest. Another chance to get some diamonds. What have we got? <gasps> no! You are kidding me! <laughs> yes! Oh my word, you could not get more perfect if you tried Minecraft. Holy moly. <laughs> no way, dude. Like, seriously, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, a mending book. We can put that on our elytra and now we don't have to worry about getting phantom membranes. Oh my word, dudes! <laughs> oh, and well, in case you can't tell, I'm rather happy about finding that because otherwise, I would have had to try and get myself a mending villager. I mean, yeah, I'm still going to try and do that, but oh, good lord! <laughs> fantastic, absolutely fantastic! Hey, hey, hey! What is good? Wait, what? Ah! Uh... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so we've gone from having probably the luckiest mine shaft chest has ever been to the weirdest dungeon I've ever seen. This is clearly a dungeon room that's bugged out. Look, there's no spawner, there's no chests. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Do you know what? This mining trip has been so worth it. Has been so, so worth it. Like, unbelievably so, Mr. Skeleton. Unbelievably so. It has been really worth it. Like, I wasn't even intending on going, you know, exploring to this extent. But, uh, you know, holy moly, have we managed to find some cool stuff. Oh, hey, another spider spawner. I doubt that it's within range of the other spider spawner. But, uh, I don't know. You never know. There might be yet another spider spawner somewhere around. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, anyways. Oh, but there is a chest. Hey, don't mind if I do, man. Don't mind if I do. Hey, some more iron. We've got to serve some coal, some torches. Uh, hey, another name tag. Cool. Hey. Well, look at that. we got a couple more presents for Papa Python. Look at this. Got even more stuffs here. Hey, look at that. Another name tag, some more coal. Eh, all is looking good. Ah, oh, do you know what? I feel terrible leaving behind powered rails because they are reasonably expensive to make. Um, ugh, I need to, I definitely need to get rid of something. Okay, string. I'm probably going to say strings for the simple fact that uh, the only time I use it is for wool. And, well, I've got wool farms already, right? So, we're all good on that front, my friends. But there was indeed another uh, minecart chest to check out, which was just over here. So, let's go ahead and have a little look-see at this. Who knows? There could be another mending book. Oh, no. But instead, we've got some diamonds. Hey, man. I'm never going to complain about getting diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, the problem is I now need to try and get something else out of the way. Uh, beetroot seeds? Do we already have beetroot seeds? I don't actually know, to be entirely honest with you guys. Uh, maybe the minecart. All right, I'm sorry, minecart, but your time has come, buddy. Oh, my God. All of this wasted iron, even though you can't... Sm if you could smelt minecarts back into iron, then uh, I would be a lot more savvy, you know, in terms of chucking away minecarts and such. But, uh, you know, since we're not, we're all okay. Oh, yes! Guys, check it out. So, we may have blown up a spawner before... But check this out, there's one here, and there is one literally 10 blocks away, a tiny bit further down just there. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take down the coordinates for this place, because holy moly, we are definitely going to make ourselves a double spider spawner farm out of this. Heck yeah, man. Absolutely fantastic. In addition to that, we also have ourselves another chest. What have we got? Iron, 
torches. Not bad. We've got some pumpkin seeds. Don't really need that. But uh, certainly everything else we're going to take. And uh, yeah, we, we really, really are going to get out of here now. Because like I say, let, let's not tempt fate, eh? Oh, goodness me. All right. Well, uh, we need to deal with the mobs of the night first. Of which there are many. Hello. Okay. Hi. Okay. And they're not stopping. No, you don't. Uh. Ah. Oh, my goodness me. Whew. Thank goodness for our freaking shield, guys. Thank goodness for our freaking shield. <laughs> oh. Right, let's get out of here. I think we may have to resort to strategy one and just staircase our way up because... Uh, screw this, man. Screw this. I, I, I want to get out of here alive with all of the brilliant stuff that I managed to get. Yeah, I, I, I just want to get out. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we just broke out into a pond, and I think I know where we are. I think we're just over this way, right? Yeah, there's the beginnings of our little pathway network. Brilliant, okay. So yeah, absolutely 100% confirmed, uh, you know, that double spider spawner is definitely within our grasp. Brilliant things. So not only do we have a mending book, but we now also have ourselves a bit of a project for the immediate future. That being, we can get ourselves some epic stuff. Heck yeah! Alright, so let's get all the valuable stuff put in here. Look at that! Look at all this brilliant stuff we've got! Two stacks of iron! Heck to the air, boys! Let's go ahead and uh, quickly grab ourselves out a little bit of the old cobblestone. We're gonna make ourselves a couple furnaces, get those bad boys chucked down, and then we are going to smelt this stuff up like a pro. There we go. Alright, so let's get you put in there. Uh, oh wait. Let's actually get you put in there. There you go. All right, and let's get you put in there. So there we go. Two stacks of iron. And uh, in the meantime, I guess we can go ahead and use this stuff. Uh, let's convert this all into uh, iron bars, as I was mentioning I wanted to do. And then, yeah, this is the intention. And, of course, we're going to have ourselves the redstone lamps right here in the sort of center pieces with, of course, daylight sensors, so they will switch on automatically. So, yeah, everything's looking good, guys. But, of course, there is one final thing to do. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited about this, dudes. I really, really am. We finally got mending, and from the most weirdest of sources, like, I, I don't think I've ever found a mending book in an abandoned mineshaft before, so... Th this has got to be a first for me, guys. This has got to be a first for me. And ladies and gentlemen, the momentous occasion has come. Mending Elytra. <laughs> I could not be more happier if you guys tried to. Oh my word, this is absolutely fantastic by every stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Once we get that spider farm up and going, then yeah, we'll be able to endlessly repair our Elytra. And that is very, very awesome. Heck yeah, people. All right, so yeah, as you can see, I've also got some redstone lamps and some daylight sensors that I had left over from when I, uh, you know, lit this place up right here. So yeah, let's get on our horse. Let's get back over to the industrial settlement. And yeah, we'll go to sleep. We'll get these things placed down and then hopefully we can make this thing look absolutely fan dab because that's certainly the intention. <laughs> Oh, darn it. I just realized something. I probably should have done this at night so uh, so, so this thing looked a bit better, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, switch these to night mode. And there we go. Everything's looking good. I think it'd be a nice idea to maybe put like a cobblestone slab on top of there or something. Uh, so if we just uh, whipped out a few of these and just quickly got some of these and then did something like this. I think that would look really, really cool. So let's have a look at it from the outset, see how it really looks. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all right with that. I think it would be a nice idea if we put like a like a stone brick block underneath there or something. Maybe not necessarily have it stretch all the way down into the water, but uh, maybe just, just to make it look a little bit better. So maybe we get rid of that and we put that in there. Yeah, and then these ones are like the proper pillars, and then those ones are like the little light pillars. That's the uh, that's the intention, anyway. Brilliant stuff. All right, guys. Well, that's just just about gonna wrap it up for today's episode, and a lot, uh, just a lot of amazing stuff has happened today, completely unexpectedly as well. So yeah. Anyways, guys, comment question of the video. There's a lot of dudes around here. I'm trying not to get killed by them all. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Nate Code has this to say. Python, I love watching your work. I love watching your videos, but they're too short. Have you ever thought about streaming? Uh, regarding the videos being too short, I would actually have to disagree with you. I would have to disagree. I know that a lot of people are really, really passionate about the series and, you know, they, they would really, really like to have longer episodes. But in all honesty, I feel like the 20 to 22 minute mark is kind of the sweet spot for a Let's Play episode on Minecraft. 
I mean, that's just coming from my own personal standpoint. Like, if I see a video that's like 40 minutes long, more often than not, I would actually skip the video because I don't have the time in the day to allocate to, to watching the entire video. And that's not to disrespect any creators that make videos of that length. It's just to say that I personally, in my life, I don't have that kind of time. Whereas, you know, I don't know. I, for the most part, I just want to try and make videos that I myself would really like to see. And as such, I like to try and keep these videos to a certain length. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. And not only that, but I feel like the, the shorter length of the videos uh, sort of... Uh, sort of uh, appeals to a wider demographic as well. So, yeah. And about live streaming, uh, yes, I have thought about it, and yes, I have done it in the past, but I'm not entirely sure about bringing it back. I mean, I may do in the future, but it's sort of all in the state of flux at the moment. Like, there's a lot of things going on, and uh, I, I don't know. I just want to focus on YouTube for now. If I do wind up streaming, I will, of course, announce it. If not on here, then on Twitter or in a community post on the channel. But for now, uh, I won't be streaming in the foreseeable future. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. you got to drop a like rating for not only finding a mending book, but also a double spider spawner. That's fantastic. And I should clarify as well, the dungeon count on this world is default. So, for us to find a double spawner in a default world is really, really awesome. So, guys, like I say, if you enjoyed the episode, please be, do be sure to hit the like rating. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.